Hello, Facebook and beyond. This is Carrie at uh, Lincoln Hot Glass here with Mark from High Volume Oxygen. We are going to show you all the High Volume Oxygen Oxygen Purity Tester that is an ultrasonic oxygen purity tester that you can pick up on our website. Never need to buy a replacement sensor. Here we've got it hooked up. We're testing the purity on a concentrator. Um, and we're also going to use Mark's Delta Elite. We're going to use the Link Center Fire on that to test this concentrator as well. So I'm going to come in here a little bit closer so you can see what we're doing. So we've got an oxygen purity tester on this Millennium M10 that we sell. Um, on our website it says we're out of stock. That's because um, we need to have you call us to get your special pricing for those. So anytime you need a concentrator, you can just give us a call. Um, this one's reading at about 91%. We've got it dialed at about nine and a half. Um, so we're gonna use this guy here in a second on your torch. And Mark, why might somebody want to test the oxygen purity? Well, if, you, if you're working and your torch flame starts acting funny, chances are one of the concentrators in your bank has got an issue. And the only way to find out is to test every one of them. And so we're going to show you two ways to test today. You know, we can, we can test with the, the oxygen purity tester, but there's also a way to test using your center fire. And we're going to show you that too. All right. So we registered up to 92% for a second there. Sometimes it takes them a little bit longer to get up to, to purity. Sometimes with the heat, the purity can be a little bit lower. Yeah, summertime purity. I mean, this is looking go. pretty good yeah, it was... at 92. Uh, it hit 93. Um, but you know, you'll you'll find that that there's a real uh, real varied numbers. If I had a if I had a bank of six refurbs, what I would often do is I'll go through the bank of a customer and I'll test every one of the machines and then write on the machine what it's doing. And you will get six different readings, anywhere from you know, 70 something percent all the way up to 92%. Um, so it's really important to know. It's important to know what your machines are putting out. And I think in the manual it also says something about the uh, liter per minute that you're kicking out. There is a sweet spot and I believe it was between like seven to nine where it's supposed to be the highest, but yeah. I, I can't remember, you'll have to look it up. I mean, um, we're getting 93% at yeah. nine and a half right now. And that's really good. 93% is really good. Okay, so now if somebody doesn't have one of these, by the way, they could have this uh, in a couple days if they needed it. Again, it's on our website. You can purchase it for $250 plus 18 pack and ship. Um, and, and then it can... That's the least expensive ultrasonic tester you're going to find. And uh, you may find cheaper testers, but they require an annual uh, cell replacement. And uh, the, the cell can be seventy to one hundred dollars. So yeah, and those have to re be replaced like every year every or something year, on yeah, those. Yeah, yeah this so one doesn't you, have anything to replace. So yeah, you, really, a, a great option if you're running on concentrators. The other option is if you don't have um, have this and you want to get testing right away, you can use your torch. Um, it's it's going to be a little bit less scientific, but. Uh, Mark's gonna show you how you can hook that up. He's got his Delta Elite here, and I'll let him kind of fill you in on what you need okay. to do, because there is kind of a special way to do it so that you can get it running and light your torch, right? Uh, yeah, well you wanna, there are a few things you wanna keep in mind. So first thing, uh, I've unscrewed the, the line that goes to my, my link center fire, and I'm just gonna screw this directly in. Uh, so this is the, you know, the line straight to my my links. Turn it up as high as it will go. Uh, and so now I've got oxygen blowing out. You want to leave it open. You don't want to ever, when you're using a concentrator, you never want to close it down. Uh, the concentrators don't like to be back pressured like that. So, so I'm gonna, but I'm going to turn it off just for a second. Up, oh, got other. I got other valves on. There we go. And there we go. So that's that's telling me that that's a good 
flame. That's what 93% looks like from one concentrator in the link center fire. Now, if this was lower, what would that flame look like? Would there be more orange? Would, um, what would we see? Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to demonstrate without putting a machine on there. Maybe we can look for a machine that's not working. And, um, but basically, it's going gonna, it's gonna to flutter. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to have... It's going to dance. The flame is not going to connect to the torch. You'll have that issue where it's making a loud noise and it won't seem to connect okay. to the torch. But this is such a good... I mean, 93% is so pure that, you know, that you really can get any kind of flame you want with uh I mean that it's pretty cool. It's just one one M ten doing that. Right? So, that's that's you know, pretty maybe sweet. show them a picture. Just this yeah. one M ten. So we just got the one M ten hooked up with that. Flowing at about wow, it looks like five, five liters, liters a, minute a minute even. And I can get it to flow higher. Uh, that's about the that's wow. a, you know, we're talking about a flame without any pressure. Yeah. So with seven PSI, that's about the best you can do right there. You know? So does an M, would an M10 hooked up to your center fire and tanked oxygen to your outer fire, would that work for that you? That would work, yeah. And we, we can actually build a box for you where you can step on a pedal and it will let your, it'll basically turn on your tank oh, from, nice. for your outer fire. And that's nice. something I've been... Uh, you know, somebody should d get us to build one of those because that'd be fun. <laughs> I could put one together. Sweet. Well, I think that's kind of uh, that's that's kind of the gist of it. So, you guys, if you need an oxygen purity tester, we've got those available. Uh, this is a, a quick test that you can do to make sure that your concentrators are putting out. Um. So, yeah. Thanks for joining in. Thanks for watching. Here, let's turn them around so they can see us. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thanks. We'll see you next time. Mwah. Nice. Hit that finish button.